This is Yemeni government video of its U.S. trained counter-terrorist teams at work. But CBS News has learned exclusively that recent combined air and ground assaults against al-Qaeda in December were American-led, according to a U.S. special operations expert who trains Yemeni officers. That was very much something executed by the United States, but with very um, heavy support by the Yemeni government. It was cruise missile strikes in combination with military units on the ground, but it was uh, a very distinct signal from the Obama administration that they are serious in assisting uh, Yemen remove these al-Qaeda facilities from its uh, soil. The target, al-Qaeda of the Arabian Peninsula, an affiliate of Osama bin Laden's group with a popular following in Yemen. The Yemeni offshoot claimed responsibility for the attempted airliner bombing on Christmas Day. But American counterterrorist teams have been tracking al-Qaeda in Yemen since the USS Cole bombing in 2000. And the U.S. military, including the Army Special Forces, has been training Yemeni counterterrorist forces since 1990. December, the top American commander of the region, General David Petraeus, was reported to have visited Yemen's capital today. He says the U.S. is about to double the $70 million it spends in Yemen, and he praised the joint December strikes. Yemeni local media report the three strikes on December 17th killed al-Qaeda targets, including one former Guantanamo detainee. More strikes on Christmas Eve targeted American-born al-Qaeda cleric Anwar al-Awlaki. Intelligence officials believe he may have helped plan December's attempted airliner bombing, but they believe he survived the attack. They also say stand by for more joint U.S. Yemeni action. Now, U.S. officials had kept fairly quiet about the extent of U.S. involvement in these joint attacks, but each day now we are learning more, especially with more Americans asking what their government is doing to keep them safe in the wake of the Christmas Day bombing. Jeff? Kimberly Dozier in Washington. Kimberly, thank you.